All right, guys, this is Mr. Amit. Um, today's tutorial is going to be on how to generate Excel spreadsheets in Python. So what we're going to do today in this piece of code um, for our first example is to generate a spreadsheet that contains this data, All right? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to install a package called XLSX Writer, which I'm actually doing right down here. All right. So let's go ahead and pip install XLX Writer. And that's done. Um, now let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom in right here a little bit. Let's go ahead and import XLX, XLSX. Uh, writer. And the reason it's called that is because we're actually generating an Excel SX file, which is the standard file format for Excel spreadsheets. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to generate the workbook object, which actually just represents the whole Excel file. Um, usually we call it a spreadsheet, I guess just in common vernacular, but um, I think fundamentally it's actually just called a workbook. So we're going to call that expenses zero, one. So this is matching up to the title we have right here, uh, .xlsx. That's going to be writer. OK. Um, so next, what we're going to do is we also need to create a new worksheet. And this worksheet, um, this worksheet corresponds to this sheet right here, OK, where it says sheet 1. So we're just going to say worksheet equals workbook dot add worksheet. So basically adding a worksheet to this workbook object that we've created. And we're not going to give it a title. We're just going to leave it blank. Um, now we're going to specify this data right here that we want to enter in the form of a 2D array. So we're going to specify our outer array right here. Um, and we're going to have four rows. We're going to have rent, 1,000. Let's go ahead and copy this four times for brevity or just to make it easier on myself. Um, rent, gas, 100, uh, food, 300, and um, gym, 50. So actually, later on in this program, we're going to calculate the total of all of those through Python and then display the result in our spreadsheet. And we'll work. It's, it's a bit more complicated than that. We're going to use Excel spreadsheets in Python to generate this, but we'll get to that later. Now what we want to do is we actually want to write this data to our worksheet. So we're going to say row equals zero and column equals zero. Now, these are for the row and column positions. Um, row equals zero actually corresponds to row one in the Excel spreadsheet, and column equals zero actually corresponds to column A in the spreadsheet. So these don't like these don't correspond exactly to how they're displayed in the worksheet. So then what we're going to do is we're going to use a good old fashioned loop in order to write this information. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this. We're going to say item uh, cost in expenses, and we're going to use this array because this allows us to go through this 2D array called expenses and get the item and cost for each individual array right here. So for example, the first iteration will get an item of rent and a cost of 1,000. So for each one of these rows, we're going to say worksheet.write row, column, and then item. And then worksheet.write um, row, call, plus 1 and cost, and then row plus equals one, adding one to row each time. So we're not gonna add anything to columns except here because we're only using column A and B. So this is always gonna be, uh, this right here is always gonna be column zero. And this one right here is always gonna be uh, column, well, not necessarily column zero. It's gonna be column zero in terms of its um, number in our Python program but it's actually going to be column A in Excel. And this one's going to be column B in Excel. Okay. Um, and row is going to be changing each time because we're going from this row to this row to this row to this row. Um, this one we're not going to write just yet. So that's why we're adding row each time. So we're starting out with row zero. All right. 
So first off, row is going to be equal to zero. Um, and column is going to be equal to zero as well. And row equaling to zero corresponds to one in the Excel spreadsheet. Um, and column being A corresponds to call the first column in the Excel spreadsheet. Next, we're going to have column next to row. Well, it's going to be row zero right here and row zero right here. Then we're going to add one. Then row is going to change to one, which will correspond to two in our worksheet. All right. So that's basically how this works. Um, in our write function, basically the first parameter is going to be the row that we want to write to, the column, and then whatever we want to write in there. So in our first column, we just have items. And our second column, column plus one, um, or column one in our Python program, and B in our Excel spreadsheet, we just have the costs. This one's actually excluded for now. Cool. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and, I mean, we're actually done writing this data. We want to calculate our total now. So we're going to say worksheet mm, dot write row. So keep in mind, we've already written these four objects right here. So actually, um, our row at this point, at this point, row is going to be equal to four, which corresponds to five in our Excel spreadsheet. So it's effectively going to be row or four uh, column. Um, col well, actually not column. We're going to have zero because we want to write it in the first column. And then total, okay? That's corresponding to this cell right here. And then we're going to have worksheet dot write same row, uh, row. And then our column is actually going to be B or column or one in our Python program. And then we're actually going to use a an Excel function. So that's going to be um, right here. So if you can see right here, that's going to be equals sum b1, b4. So, um, OK, that needs to be a string right there. So interestingly, to do this calculation, we're not doing this in Python. We're doing this through Excel. And we're actually using like our Excel uh, syntax. And then one important thing is that um, when, you, when you're done, you do workbook.close. Otherwise, it won't work. Sometimes when generating CSVs, it works without the close, but here you really need to do this. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and run it. All right, so let me just go ahead and close this out right here. All right, so it looks like it ran successfully. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not really going to export this to Google Sheets. I mean, I'm pretty sure this works, and you can also go ahead and try this yourself. Um, with the uh, code linked in the description. Actually, the, the reason I'm using Google Sheets is because I'm on a Mac, and I don't really have, um, I don't actually have Numbers or Excel, um, but I have tested this out, and I know it works. So that's how you create this. Now we're going to look at another slightly more complex example. That's going to be our grade spreadsheet. And right here, this looks a little bit more like a typical spreadsheet. We have headers at the top, name, score, and letter grade. Um, we have the name scores and letter grades for um, three different students, and then we're calculating the average at the end. So let's go ahead and let's write that piece of code. Okay, first off, um, we're going to import XLS, XLSX writer as usual. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to do workbook equals XLSX writer dot workbook for a workbook object, and then grades dot XLSX matching up to this one right here. All right. Um, and actually, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, two spreadsheets this time with two separate pieces of data. All right. So you've got some data right here with the average grade, and we have some more data right here um, with without the average grade, without an average grade. So we're going to have worksheet. Um, I'll go back to sheet one. So we'll have our first worksheet. We'll have worksheet one equals workbook dot add worksheet. And you can see there's a variety of options right here. Um, right here, we can also specify the title. So we could actually just say, uh, for example, uh, students one. And then we'll have worksheet two equals workbook add worksheet and then we can just say students too all right 
And now we're actually going to create two 2D arrays. So one for class one grades and one for class two grades. So right here, if you look at class one grades, we just have, we're gonna actually going to have a header here, which is different from before. Um, so we're actually going to have a name, a score, and letter grade. Actually, the structure of this array, um, if you've seen my previous tutorials on uh, Pi Simple GUI tables, this actually matches up specifically, or matches up perfectly with those tables. And that's actually going to be the subject of the next tutorial. Um, and then we're going to have, we have JSON, uh, 97, A. All right. Then we've got a myth, uh, 59, B. Then we're going to create another one. So one for this sheet and one for this sheet. Um, I mean, this. I'm just doing this just to be really clear, but you could probably just copy paste this from the... Um, uh, attached code from the linked code. So C. So this time we're looking at this sheet. So we've got Sebastian 61. Uh, D. Okay, cool. That one stays the same. All right, so we've got class one grades and class two grades. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually just create a function called def um, array to Excel, and we're going to take as input a grades array and a worksheet. And this is actually a function you can take out of this and you can insert into your own application. I'm um, starting so right here. We'll say row index equals zero. We're basically replicating the functionality that we created in our previous uh, example, and we're going to say for row in grades array for column in row, um, worksheet dot write. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a bit more space. Worksheet dot, okay. Worksheet dot write, uh, row index, column index, and then column. So basically what this column index is, is what we saw before. We have a row, we have the row where we want to input our information, our column index, and then this column is corresponding to the data here. So we're actually going to each row. We're using a 2D array right here to go through each row. And then for each column, um, write the data out, okay? So for example, first we're going to go to, we're gonna start with the first row right here. And then we're going to, go, we're going to input name, score, and then letter grade. Um, and in order to facilitate this, we're going to have column index plus equals one. So this is going to increment each time we, we want to go to another column. And then outside of this, we'll have, um, we'll set column index equals zero, going back to the first column and row index plus equals one. So basically we're going through each row and column by column are writing data to our Excel spreadsheet. And then we're going to say return row index. So just to reiterate how this works, um, we're starting, for example, if we wanted to write the first, um, like the first row, which is the header, we'd start with row index zero. So we'd have zero, um, and then we'd have column index zero, and then column. So this column is going to be name. Column index is going to be zero, row index is going to be zero. Then we're going to add one to column index. So then we'd have zero, one, and then our next column. So we'd have zero, one, and then score. And then we'd add one again, and then we would have uh, zero, two, letter grade. Um, and then once we're, that would be it for um, all, of our, all of our columns in the row. So then we'd go to the next row. Um, we'd set column index equal to zero, and then we'd add one to row index. So we'd come back right here, and we'd have one, uh, zero, and then Alex and then one, one, and then 32, and then one, two, and then C. And then we'd go to the next row and so forth. All right, cool. So we're gonna return the row index. We're actually not really gonna use that, but whatever. Um, actually, I think we might use that, Never mind. All right, so we're gonna have final uh, row, row index 
um, one. Well, we're, actually, we're going to write, let's just go ahead and say, yeah, okay, final row index one equals convert equals array to Excel, uh, class one grades. So right up here, class one grades. Class one um, grades, and then worksheet one. And then we're going to have a uh, final row index two equals array to Excel, plus two grades, and then worksheet two. All right. And the worksheet one is right up here. We had add worksheet students one and worksheet two is right up here. We had add worksheet students two. So that's where we're getting that from. All right. So right here, array to Excel, class one grades, worksheet one, and then class two grades, and then uh, worksheet two right here, okay? So we're basically just running this function. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna calculate for our first one we're going to calculate the average grade. And let me just scroll down here. We're going to say um, uh, worksheet one. Dot write. And we're going to use that final row index. That So this row index is what we uh, returned. And that's going to be, that's going to give us five. Um, or it's going to give us, well, the row index is going to be four and that's going to be for row five because we've gone, we've gone all the way through the loop. And at the end, when we've added up row index for the last time, we're going to return that. So we're going to have final row index uh, one, um, column zero. We're going to just write average grade for this one. And then, um, so just to continue now, um, actually, I took a little break here. And I went ahead and I updated the spreadsheet so you could see exactly the way it's supposed to look. Um, for example, right here, we've got, if I just open this up a bit, um, you can see students one and students two. Anyways, let's write our last line of code to calculate this average right here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say worksheet um, one.write final row index, uh, we're gonna have one, which is our column, which is gonna be B. And then we're gonna write some code to calculate the average through Excel. So that code is gonna be equals um, average, and then it's gonna be from B2 to B4. All right, and that's how we're gonna calculate our average. Um, that is our tutorial. Um, Oh, sorry, I made a mistake right here, final row index one. Now, one thing I do wanna highlight that I don't think I did highlight before um, is that basically that the way that we use these, we generate these spreadsheets and then um, open them, we're gonna just basically run this code right here and then we're gonna get grades.slx. So if we actually open this up in Finder, um, we should get this in the same directory and then we can import this or we can open this in Excel or whatever we want to do, all right? Um, anyways, um, if this tutorial was of interest and of value to you, please consider liking and subscribing. Have a nice day.